Hey, it's not without any <laughs> any funny business. Hey, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everyone. This is Harry from Hasper TV back with another preview with Harry and TJ. And it's Friday, guys, so it's almost the weekend, thank God. Um, so, Harry, I'm going to go to you first. How are you doing? Yeah, very good, thank you. Looking forward to getting into this show, obviously previewing Newcastle. Um, so, yeah, really excited. And TJ, are you, you look like you're in Tottenham. You must be in Tottenham, isn't it? Yeah, I'm in Wood. I'm in. I'm at work right now in Wood. Yeah, yeah, I can see in the background. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. This is my new. This is my su- studio sesh. So when whenever I'm doing Friday shows and I'm at work, um, more time it's going to be in this little spot. It actually looks a, a bit better than my. Actual yeah, I was going to say that's home really setup, good. innit? Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. this is my office. This is my office that I'm in, innit? Anyway, so. I've got like this little section where I eat my food in it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And I look outside and I just, you know, do my own thing. But I'm good, my guy. I'm good. Um, how you guys been? Good. Um, I hope. So big up the chat. Mm-hmm. Barney. Big up, Jake. big up, big up, big up. Big JJ. up. JJ. Yeah, man, big up JJ. It? He was on. I was. I was messaging him on um, Tottenham Way earlier. But um, oh, so yeah. yeah, we guys got Newcastle next week. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> obviously, last time out. Yeah, I can't remember what happened last time out. It's been so long. Did we win? <laughs> who, who did we play against? Just yeah, refresh Forrest. my memory. Very well. Forest. Oh Very yeah, we, well. we won. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah we won. So, um, TJ, because I'm speaking now, what do you think of the Forest game first of all? Like I said, I can't even remember. It was past my memory. <laughs> 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 nah, like, nah, nah. Serious note in it, yeah. Um, it was. As it was a good, it was a good ish performance. Um, I think first half we we did struggle because they scored first, right? Yeah, I'm correct. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Equalized. No, they, we scored first, they equalized before half time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah, it was such a tight game at first half. Yeah, sorry, man. Look, you know, when them ones where you don't speak about football for a long while, and it you feel, yeah, 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 you know, fine. but now, now it's coming back to me. Yeah, no, first half was. Um, kind of like same old, same old, isn't it? You know, um, again, it's it's a mixture of a lot of things, you know, stubbornness, and then you got players that are not in form, and then players that are in form. Um, props to Werner, um, that's one pers- person I'm gonna give props to because he did do uh, have a good display, you know. Um, I don't, I, I, as far as I'm concerned. This is kind of like a clean state. Like this year is going to be up and down performances, isn't it? You know, and you can't expect more than what we're getting right now. You know. Did you um, think the half-time changes made a difference, CJ? Ben's card uh, yeah, came on for this year. Yeah, I, you know what? Look, I feel like I, I'm not. I'm not just going to um, radicalize certain players like Bissouma, or you know, like um shit house a, f- a few of them uh, like a few bad performances but what i'm gonna say to like as an overall squad there's times when benton core is good and there's times when benton core is bad do you get where i'm yeah. coming from there's times when um hoiberg is good and when hoiberg is bad right there's times when basum is good and basum is bad we're gonna get that kind of trajectory for a while until these players kind of like adjust and adapt um look I, i've spoke for a while uh, uh, a lot i want to hear what other people like harry yeah. and uh, obviously yeah. you, think, harry, it? Because um, you guys were at the game right yeah i went yeah i was yeah yeah so yeah okay so i would love to know your opinion because yeah. to be fair with, i think it was a um a decent performance it's like a same old performance there was nothing mm. there was nothing amazing about it but there was nothing like that like bad really about bad. it do you get where i'm coming from so harry um i'll ask a couple of questions coupled with the performance yeah, because i know you're a big hoiberg fan i've never seen you defended for a lot and, and even tj i know he's not as much a fan as you but he's defended hoiberg quite a lot um yeah. and i was going to ask you another question coupled with this now I'm of the view after seeing Bissouma this season that I don't think he's really a number six. I think he's kind of either being converted or they're putting him in there to what's the word? A square peg in a round hole, as they say, to try and yeah. stop the fact we don't actually have like a real number six. Because they, I think he's been doing that a little bit with Bentico, because Bentico's not really played as much as a six and then an eight in previous years, from what I've seen of him anyway. Um, so, do you think 
Um, the half ten hitters were like a massive thing because Hoiberg was like a very, like he's a naturally a six. Um, what, what do you think was the deciding factor in the change of the second half? It was a change at half time for me. If they weren't made, I think we could have gone on to lose that game, to be honest with you. Mm. And the first half was interesting. And something I don't think we've experienced, certainly not for a long while this season, in terms of that first half was really a half or two halves where we started well obviously took the lead but then we, we start to crumble in that second part of the half and we conceded and really we should have been behind going into half time chris wood has to take that second chance uh marillo oh, from what 80, 83 yards very very unlucky not to score that was an immense effort yeah. uh, from the brazilians so yeah we were very lucky not to be behind in my opinion um and it felt like one of those where we we, we should have been two to up didn't take our chances and we could have been behind at the break uh, ch- changes were made as well. Remember? He hit the post from like two yards, three yards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but um, no, but you know, but one thing I know you're going to question Werner, but Werner performed. I thought he performed. I don't know about you guys. I was going to bring up Werner, but since you said well, it, in, in the first half, <laughs> he, he, he forced the own yeah. goal with Murillo, and that that's the thing. You know, even if he's not scoring them, he, he's forcing these goals from you know, his, his good crosses. <laughs> he likes again. Uh, so, it, you know, it's really impressive. But no, second half, we got the job done. And really, it was, it was, felt like, they were, you know, it's men versus boys in the second half. But that's how it really should be, you know, in terms of where you look at the table. So we got the job done. We got the three points. But what I do worry is when we play bigger oppositions, I think we play a bigger one in Newcastle this weekend in terms of will we be allowed those 20, 25 minutes in that first half that we had where we just simply no, are non-existent? Will we be allowed that time? Will the game be gone by then? It's going to concede two or three goals. That, for me, is a big test, especially when we play the top three, but also with Newcastle this weekend. So overall, I'm happy with the win, but I know that with a bigger team that we would have been in trouble. And I guess it's my turn now. Um, well, so I went to the game. I thought the first half, like you said, was kind of a game of two halves. But I did feel like once Forest equalised, the momentum was with them. I think momentum is a very important thing in football. And they could have, like you said, easily be two or three, one up by half time. Um, I thought that they literally had control of the game, really. And I think if you didn't make that sub, a sub, sorry, I think we would have gone to lose it, like you said. Um, I think Ben's because Simon and Basum, oh, Ben's Ben's and Hoiber, because they play so well together. Um, like from previous, obviously under Conte in it. So mm. them to come on together, I think really helped to kind of allow Madison to play a bit more further forward as well, because they tend to play yeah. a bit further back anyway. Um, I just think people underestimate how much the difference Hoiberg made that game, because without him, I think we'd have lost the midfield battle in the second half. I totally agree yeah. with what you're saying there, you know. Yeah. Um, I'll let you carry on. I just want to add something in, into That's Hoiberg's fine. performances, yeah? Um, like in terms of like how how he offers something different, I, this is why I'm a big advocate that we can't sell. Well, we shouldn't look to get rid of someone like Hoiberg because for me, he offers something different that most of our midfielders don't. He's like more of the defensive, um, defensive, defensive like all out, what well, defensive mm. structured center center mid or C- cdm you know and to be honest with you we don't have a defensive midfielder in our squad as as often as what hoiberg so for you to want like he's the only one that's going to push the cash let's be honest with you here because then you've got obviously so he wants to go i think that's problem his... as well like he wants to go again yeah i i agree with that but then see this is the problem in it yeah and i know i'm kind of like jumping from one topic to the other topic but when you have Hoiberg in 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 your squad or just like a bench bench option mm. it offers so much because remember you need a big squad you know and in terms of who we're linked to because then we're linked to like people like Conor Gallagher and he's not a defensive Keep that in mind because that's one of the like Gallagher and Onana because yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah he's not a defensive structured player you know what i'm trying to yeah, say yeah, yeah. and then even onana for example yeah I, I i don't watch him a lot in it i'm gonna put my hands up i don't watch him yeah. a lot however even him his player style it's not strictly defensive you like you get where i'm coming from he's more of a center midfielder destroyer do you get where i'm coming from mm. so let's this is how i've seen him he's like a destroyer in terms of he does the gritty and grind dirty work but he's not that all all out defensive guy so for you to get rid of someone like hoiberg 
that will cripple our squad. That will cripple our I, I agree with you. I don't want to sell him. But the problem is he wants to go. I think that's the thing that he wants. But see, don't you question... Shouldn't you question the... Um, how he's managed because for me personally of course you can be you can want to leave yeah like mm. harry kane we, we all knew that harry kane wanted to leave right? yeah 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 but 100%. but by let's be honest if you has been it's been kind of like in the woodworks of harry kane leaving for like the last four or five years do you get where i'm coming from well not four or five years maybe like three three years three years on like i think it was like what 2020 2021 that's where that's where we were hearing rumors where harry Man City, Man City, yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying harry Kane is linked to other play other places yeah. right cool but he didn't throw his uh, toys out the pram you know and when you manage people like, and i guarantee you if if harry Kane had the option to stay and if this team was more successful on the pitch, he would have stayed. I think yeah, Harry, yeah, Harry yeah. Kane would have stayed. He yeah. would have stayed. Let me. I'm. I'm going to make that something that clear mm -hmm. to a lot of Spurs fans, isn't it? So it's the way you manage these players, right? I think Hoiberg is another Harry Kane situation. When I say like he hasn't thrown the toys out the pram, yeah, we we can clearly see he wants to go because he's not favoured, right? But if you manage your squad and you kind of like see what he offers. Don't you think he, you could get a tune out of Hoyer? PJ, don't that's, you think that's down to, down to Ange then? Because, and I'm going to put that's this... That's my point. I'm going to put this to but, you. I think he went to make the one point, sorry. So yeah. Ange clearly also played with a progressive six. I'm going to use that in quotation marks because that's the player education I get told by everyone, right? Mm. Now, the problem we have in this squad, what I've noticed, right, is with the six position is you have someone like Skip who everyone, oh, I think, agree on this panel and probably in the chat that he's not the level that we need, right? So you have to take him out of the equation. I, I agree, but then I also agree that you have to have people like skipping the squad because yeah, I know. I, I can't grow well. and you know yeah. you need to get where I'm coming from. Like maybe maybe he's not off. Not, but again, he's not. not, not I'm trying yeah. to say you get to my point. They're so not the colleagues. He's, 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 like, he's, he's not progressive he's not right enough for Andy, yeah. right? And mm -hmm. Hoiberg again, I, I love him as a six. I think he's a pretty. He's been a good. I've never been one to say, "Oh, we need to sell Hoiberg or whatever," because I know mm -hmm. he does a certain job. He's not going to do anything more than that. But the problem with him again is that, and this is what every Spurs fan says, is that he's not progressive enough. But then he's playing Basuma there, who probably is progressive enough, let's say, on paper. Like he's got more to his game, let's say, and he can progress the ball. But as a six, in my opinion, if we're talking like a pure number six, like a tackler, a destroyer, I don't think he's good enough. And I think that's the problem we have. So it's like you've got one player who's trying, almost like trying to convert him into a player that he's not. And you've got one player that we have that's actually in the six. But then. He's not progressing off the plane. See, this is why, let me be honest with you. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, and this might, yeah, this, is, this might seem as, yeah. yeah I, this is why I'm going to be totally honest with you. And this might seem um, negative to a lot of fans, isn't it? But this is where I kind of like blame, blame Ange in a certain criteria. Yeah, yeah. Because I'll go back to, I go back to this, this point in it. If you don't have the players, you can't play the system. So, this is this is that that's the straw line and i'm not saying you have to change your whole philosophy and i never said that they never came out of my mouth but you want to implement something and you don't have the structure in place we're basically doing what conte had conte had didn't have the structure in place and he didn't have the players to perform his system because let's be honest here now yeah even marino marino didn't have the players to perform his system he didn't Poch was the only yeah. Poch was the only manager that had the players. Let's just deep it here. And I'm not yeah, being yeah. negative. Please even Red no, I I'm negative here. No, I, do, yeah. I completely agree with you. Let's be the only the only manager that we've actually had in the last what five, six years is Poch, yeah. where he has actually had players at his disposal that know his system in and out, right? Cool. That comes with time because you Poch was here for a long mm -hmm. time, right? And again. I'm not throwing Ange under the bus when I'm coming, when I'm making this conclusion. But what I'm trying to say is you have to obviously see what you have on, on the piece of paper and realise, okay, cool, this is a big issue. Because if you play like this next year, and look, quote, unquote, this is why I'm... I'm I'm kind of lay, laying off the Ange cri uh, criticism. I, I think you've realised that I'm not real for the last two two shows, in it. I'm not going hard on Ange, in it. But when you say stuff like 
next year i want to title content yeah yeah yeah, says, yeah, yeah. and this is this is this, this is this is where it can't where it comes down to in it if you say things like this in it you have to get all of these small little tasks fixed first before you start jumping on the yeah, yeah. the big tasks do you get where i'm coming yeah, from I know where you're yeah yeah, yeah I know where you're so but then, but then bit... I say, in regards to number six then i was looking at say bentica for example yeah i was trying to get back on topic but um and on paper for me he would be the player that might be able to do that job like because he's progressive and he can sit and also because his acl i think it's better for him to play as a six yeah um, absolutely but again it's his question marks are his recovery from his injury so the number six i think is a real problem for us now yeah TJ, you know what it shouldn't have been? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 you're making a point, a good point, you know, the number six is now becoming an issue and it shouldn't have been like this, you know, because, um, quote unquote, Conte, for whatever reason, um, didn't want to play Basuma, right? And we've had a year without Basuma in this squad and now Basuma has kind of like reverted back to i wouldn't say I, his old ways he is still playing playing at a semi like oh but it's like we're not we're not seeing the consumer of the first what 10 12 games right is there a question of the quality of players that we're bringing in and it, we always go back down to coming to this actual topic because generally speaking we we're now we're now in a situation where we need to find another number six one Basuma or maybe he for whatever reason we bought Basuma for, right? At the time it looked like it was a really amazing signing and it should have been an yeah. amazing signing. It should have took us from let me that's this is where I put, hold my hands up in it and I say, Yeah, cool. This is where I, I props Levy for his business. Do you get where I'm coming from? I picked him up. Think, I don't want to bring this up, but do you think he was cheaper because of that ongoing case? That's half and half into it, you know. How Levy does his business is right, and we can only critique what we have. On no, the no, I'm saying because of Bissouma's ongoing case at the time. Can, can I answer that? Go for it. Okay. I, I, yes, I think so, and I don't think Brighton wanted to to be involved in that. They at the time were very hyped by their kind I of. I don't want to name the case. Not, the case yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know. I won't get into the, the case itself, yeah. but I think that Brighton were keen to to offload, and we saw an opportunity. And I think everything that's been said so far tonight, I completely agree with. But dissecting what TJ said, I, I completely agree. You know, Basuma came in. Obviously, you forget last season. This season, hit the ground running, and like amazed us all in that first twelve games. That for me was a consumer we all saw at Brian, if not better. Then he's it's like one extreme to another. What we're seeing now is is complete. Okay. I actually thought uh, Forrest's first half was, was the best I've seen for a little while in terms of he took some shots, but then he lost control of that midfield. His passing was awful. But this one I was saying Basuma, right? So he's progressive in that sense. Like he's taking shots, he's bringing ball forward. But then when it comes to the like the actual six work He's but not, for, he's for me, and I'm, I'm not Ange Postecoglou, yeah. and I would set my team up completely yeah. different. I made that clear before. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, my number six, the, the main job will be to protect the defence. Mm. Ultimately, as I said before, we're conceding for my liking too many goals, and that is an issue. You can play attacking football, defensive football, but you've got to keep the ball out of your own net. In in you know you, you have to do that in the Premier League. Look at Arsenal. For me, the main difference is they went away uh, to Dubai. They got a set piece coach, and they ultimately improved yeah, defensively Declan as well. Rice as well though, to be they fair. bought Declan Rice. Yeah, they improved defensively, and we have to keep balls out the back of our own net. And we're not doing that. And, and number six, um, <laughs> ignore the comments. Number six plays a big part in that. Basuma for me can't do it. I think Ben Scott can as a progressive six. I think Anana could for Everton, uh, so we would get on to that. I think he's capable of doing that. For me, yeah. I'd, it would be Hoiberg. I know he doesn't suit the system with the passing, but I think mm. you can adapt that and improve that. I, I, Hoiberg, for me, would, would be the typical number six. He does it so well for Denmark. Um, I was going to ask you, because you touched on Anana anyway, Harry, um, on Gallagher. I mean, the Gallagher link this morning was so strong. Like Apparently Spurs want to get it done quickly. I don't know how that's going to happen because it's Chelsea, but anyway. Um, <laughs> and uh, what do you think the motivation is for this Gallagher thing? Because we've spoken at length now about wanting a number six. 
I don't think Gallagher's really number six, in my opinion, at least. Um, no. Homegrown, do you think, like, what's, what's the motive? Where's he going to play? For uh, me, the thinking not... behind it is he would suit an Ange Postacoglu system perfectly, and he is homegrown. So that would be, for me, the first few things that comes to it. But I, I don't know why we're, we're already jumping into the number six or, or the Gallagher, like, midfield uh, thing at Spurs, if this, obviously the rumours are true, because for me, I, I want to see us go out there and get a number nine. I'll go out there and, and get that full centre back in, or I'll go and get that left back. For, or as TJ's discussed before, I think spot on, go out there and sign another winger, regardless of whether we keep Werner or not. We, we need another winger. You know, there's nothing wrong with having unlimited options. You want that with, with hopefully Champions League football next year. So I don't get why Gallagher for me wouldn't be the first sign of the window. I, I, I know he suits the system. I just. I don't want to say it's necessarily better out there, but you know, if you're going between like uh, you know, Gallagher or Nana, for me, it'd be a Nana. I'd rather go for Paulinho for Fulham. I'm totally honest with you. He's the one I think that could, can do the role that we need and can be very versatile, can do the six or the eight, can attack and defend, can so, protect. For me, pass. it's Douglas Suiz, man. We need Douglas Suiz. He's more of a box to box player, TJ, though. I don't think yeah, he's already yeah, a he, well. You know what, yeah? Um, the, way, the way he plays in the Aston Villa side with McGinn, I think it's McGinn, yeah, yeah, McGinn. Man, he will suit our system. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that, that's that's my. Let me be honest with you, yeah. Look, I've done my scouting report in it, yeah, yeah. and yeah. and I don't care what the rumors are, man. I'm not following that because for me, Gallagher. For I, look, I'm I'm a pretty standard person in it. Look, people are gonna disagree with me, and they can all have their own opinion in it. But I just don't want players like Gallagher. In my opinion, we've got players like Skip. I've got a great on that one. I, you know, for mm-hmm. me, like, for me, we need better. If we're going to go, this is my point. Your ambition, see, it comes out the manager's mouth that his ambition is the title challenge. How is a player like Gallagher a title challenge? And I don't want to go back on the Werner thing. And I don't want to go back because you guys already know my stance on that, right? I'm not saying nothing he's done like I. At the start of the show, I said I bigged up Werner. Yeah, yeah. But that doesn't change change my narrative of why I'm saying we need better. It's you not know? standard. I generally player, just want the level of the yeah, player. exactly. Yeah. And I know, I know people disagree. I know Harry's stance is yeah, he he'll be a good option. Yeah, the only, the only and I, I, I can totally Gallagher. respect that. And this is something, by the way, comes mm. like you. I don't really want him. But do you think might he might see mm. him as like Saka? Uh, what's Gall- said again? You, do you think you might see Gallagher yeah. as like not SAR cover, SAR competition? Yeah. Like in the same position? yeah, competition, yeah. No, but then see, this is what I don't understand, didn't it? Yeah, um, I'm not saying I agree, we've just got that youngster, we've just got that, um, that youngster from what is it called? That because I remember saying the reason why, I, listen, remember I said this. When I said the reason why I would want Posta Koglu is to embed our youngsters, mm. yeah, and we've just signed a uh, wonder kid that is Bro doing Bro bits, Bro and Bro I think Bro he's Bro. Yeah. yeah. And the pr- the problem is, yeah, when you bring players in, yeah, for like Bonnie let's through. just say Gallagher comes in, in it, yeah? yeah, what happens to our youngsters? There's no yeah. way through. The door. But then, TJ, you say that, but if he said. And don't get don't me wrong, you know me and you both agree we're not going to change the title next season. But he said yeah. we're going to change the title next season. And Stel and Tottenham away makes a very good point, and I agree with him completely on this. He's not going to use the youngsters, because if he, if this is his aim, he's not going to try the youngster next season. I, I agree with that. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I agree with yeah. that totally, yeah. I totally agree with what that, that, that right there, that statement of yeah. he's not going to use the youngsters makes total sense. However... When you build a squad, and this is why I'm adamant that a squad, like players like, and see, it might sound crazy and corrupt in it when I say this, in it, but players like Emerson Royale, I just want to suit my narrative here. Players like Emerson Royale, Skip, for whatever reason, all of these players are squad-based players. You get where I'm coming from. Emerson Royale, is, uh, he can play the centre-back and he can yeah. play right-back. Maybe yeah. they're not good enough for even Davies the whole... Well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, even Davies. You know, he fits that same narrative, in it? But you also have to embed your youngsters in as well, in the squad. I'm not saying they're just going to slip right, right. in. Yeah. Hence why 
when I say you're going to go for a title, I'm not mentioning Werner or Gallagher. Even Brendan Johnson comes into this into this matter because I want much better quality players. And that, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm saying you have to spend the money. Never said that. But you need good players that can actually perform on that technical level. Look at this. I'll give you a good example. When we talk about the best teams in the Prem, we always talk about their front three. Yeah. Right? We always say this front, this person, this person, that person, they are likely to win the Prem. Like Why? Diaz, because the. You know, Nunes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. I'm just going to use our front three for example, yeah. Uh, this is just an example for my argument. When you mention Werner, Richarlison's son, or Johnson, Richarlison's son, do you see that as a title contending? And I'm not no, saying whether to win it. I'm saying me, title not contending team. Not for me. Exactly. Um, I never said anything about, yo, um, they're probably good footballers. But my, my issue is when you make them huge statements, you're selling me hopes. This is why. I'll oh, go for it, bro. Sorry, I was just going to say, I, I totally get what you're saying, but what I will say is I look at teams like Arsenal and go, their front three doesn't doesn't really scare really? me. Like, Saka, what? Saka, apart from Saka, hang on, apart from Saka, Jesus for me is, is hey. hang on, hang on, hang on, wait, yeah. wait. For, for, for me, I think we, we have, we have, I'm not going to say that front, front three is, is absolutely fantastic, but Son for me would be for a start in a, in a title winning front three. I think Werner would be, as we said before, Johnson, there'd be options to have in that title winning team. Uh, Richarlison, I, I personally really like, and we see Arsenal here in a title race. I would still have Richarlison over Jesus, if I'm totally honest with you. I think Jesus is, is a reason yeah. he's playing in different positions, left wing, back, left wing, because they can't really find a good position to him. So they're seeing what he's like at tracking back. So, um, I won't be honest with you. I don't think at the moment scoring goals is a problem. I think, you know, keeping balls at the back of our own net is a problem. So I think that we need to fix that personally first. Before well, no, we, no, we but then it scoring. starts, it, you know, but then one thing I have to just like, um, throw yeah. back at you, not, not because I'm going to cause the argument, but it starts from the top. If you're not scoring the goals and finishing your chances and creating the chances, quality chances, I mean, because I also bang on every single week about us not creating enough chances. And I'm not just I'm not talking about the Nottingham Forest game. I'm talking about overall how the season tactics, has gone tactics, on. The tactics, yeah? yeah. If you're not if you're not creating enough chances when you're playing such a front foot in football, mm. you're gonna be open. And Anch has actually already said this out loud. He said, This is how we play. We are gonna let goals in. Didn't he say that? Well, Technically, the words I'm 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 like quoting. Well, but he said on this is how we play. I'm not going to change how I play. So when you play front foot football, the goals have to be there. You need elite forwards, basically. Exactly. I think, so, that's why I think we need a number nine because I think we get in so many good positions. We just don't shoot enough. We don't cross enough because I think well, the team well. look up and go, "There's there's no physical presence there." So we go back mm. and we try and get the perfect move. And what against Forest, I think you know, I'm, I'm not saying that players were necessarily afraid to shoot, but maybe they were trying to work the move, etc. Trying to get someone in the shooting position. But Van der Ven and Poro's goals came from where I don't think we usually score in terms of. Yeah, you know, they had to go. I think the team done well to create chances, but that that's what happens for me when you shoot more and you, you have a go. But for me, I've said this before, if Richarlison was fit, he'd be in my starting lineup every single week because we lack that physical presence in the box. And where I will agree with Has about Son, and you know, I do like Son, but but not as a number nine. He doesn't really offer you that much. I don't think he's even he's on the side on the wing. Uh, the problem with Son, uh, it's kind of like I don't have to explain it because where I say it, it comes out wrong. Okay, so his age is against him because he's like 31, 32, and he relies on his pace. Like I mentioned Bell was the, as the example before. It's not me saying Son's a bad player, by the way, okay? But for me, he was a can better I, player. Can I, re can I reiterate yeah. what you're saying in a better yeah. way? Okay. Cool. As an athlete, yeah. when you rely on certain skill sets. Attributes. So yeah. Yeah. 
um, skill attributes or you call it skill sets. I call it, I'm going to call it, when you rely on a thing like pace to enhance um, your ability to play. So like, I'll give you a good, another good example. Van der Ven. If Van der Ven didn't have pace, he yeah. would be a donkey as a centre back. Hundred percent. And yeah. that's not me disrespecting his level of um, his IQ level. And please don't think I'm against Van der Ven. Let me make that clear. Before he clips but it, his pace is his it. ultimate. <laughs> yeah, his pace is his ultimate weapon that helps yeah. him perform at a high level, right? But his weakness, and let's. Let's be honest with you. I think like all Spurs play. fans no. see this. His weakness is what? Headers. Headers, yeah. Van der Ven, Jumping. Yeah. Headers, headers, yeah. His weakness is headers. So his strength is his pace. If Van der Ven was to lose his pace, this, let's not even talk about the system, but the system in, a, in that self, he'll be flawed, right? Cool. So what, what has this saying about Son? Son is a particular player that relies on his pace. His main attribute that made, makes Son, Son, is his pace. When he's in a decline, which means, I'm not saying he's bad now, he might pop up with a goal. He's good at shooting, yeah? That's another attribute that Son's good at. But if, he, if you take away his pace, you kind, of have, you kind of have a dud. Do you get where I'm coming from? I don't now mean you have to, to play a whole get Son different from this. I get your all round explanation, but for me, Son's had a, a superb season and has really, for me, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no, this, is not, no, this is not my opinion. This is has his opinion. I'm just no, trying yeah. to word it in a certain oh, way. No, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. But let me, well, let me wipe my hands off this, innit? Don't yeah. cross me in it. <laughs> in the tumble, innit? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying you look at, need to look at the quality of the goals we score like and the way we score them. All of Son's goals this season have been basically, I use this word, Loosely tap ins, right? They're not, he's not getting the ball, Harry, and doing what he does, for example. But that's the way we play. We literally walk the ball, the ball. We let, let, the ball, the ball in. Literally. There's a reason why he was moved into the middle, Harry, because he doesn't have, like T just explained to you, he doesn't have the pace he had in the past. He doesn't have the, so he's going he to have the great spot to the new way. Whereas Werner, look, yeah. So, what you the reason why Angie, let me just explain something. I think this is when the reason why Ange is playing Werner in the left, left midfielder role, and I will give him props. Look, I'm here. Listen, and I've already said I don't want Ferner. So you're gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay out why he's good in the left wing. Look, so you can clip this if you want it, bro. I'll give you free range. But a lot of people are gonna agree on this. Werner, technically wise, in terms of shooting, is awful. Yeah, but what he's good at is taking on his man and running against his opponent. Very good. Yeah. Right. He's that's what his his asset is. Right. So in Andrew's system, he needs players to run at the defenders. Werner, for me, is better than Son in that role. In terms of one-on-one. Yeah, on one, in the way he, we play. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Now, yeah. now, see, look, I, I, I've just labelled that out. Now, what Haz is saying, when you lose that aspect, and he's not saying Son is bad. He didn't say that. Yeah, I didn't that say didn't it. come out of his mouth. Yeah, no, the, no yeah. he's not saying Son as a player is bad. He's saying Son, his main attribute that makes him a um, what's another word? A great a player. player yeah, yeah. A top player has was been faulted. Was, yeah, was his pace? Yeah, yeah. Was his pace? And I can agree with that. But then what I can't agree on, which I, I haven't actually expressed, I can't agree where he says that the age is declining because what I'm what I'm seeing on the pitch is he's scoring quite a lot of goals. But what I'm saying say is that his type of goals, right, is oh. not the same as the path, right? But so that's it, the system. It, that it, is the system. But you can ask the system is. right or and the reason I give this as an example is the other week when we lost to Fulham. They had the, he had that mm -hmm. shot, you know, just outside the box, and he went yeah, really yeah. wide. If you remember yeah. a few years ago, Son scored a similar goal to that when obviously he went in. And I'm saying there is like because of his age, I'm not no, saying he's bad, I get like, what you mean, but look at all the good, good goals Harry Kane has scored, but also look at you know, where he's missed penalties at Southampton, where he stuffs up the spot or, or misses, 
Yeah, everyone misses chances though that they they usually score. I know what you mean, but for but me, he never relied he, on. His I get it if you're saying about Brennan Johnson in terms of he wouldn't be good without pace. I, I absolutely get that, and I would probably agree with that. But with Son, for me, I, I don't think pace is even if he had zero pace, I don't think it'd be a problem. I think he has the skill. I think he has the hold up play. I think he'd be all right. So what, I don't what, think well, you might notice now though, in his previous years is now he's using like small bursts of it compared to before where he would just get the ball and just yeah. Run no, it. I'm not saying he's as quick as he was four years ago. We we know that. But I think at his I age, what he's producing, well, saying, how, how important he is to the system. I'm not saying to sell him. I'll keep him. I'll buy someone like Isak. I'll keep using him like an impact player. Let yeah, me be no, real in it here. Yeah, yeah, agree. Yeah. I agree with what that says. But this comment that um, I've just looked at the comments in it yeah. from Alex uh, Scott experience in it. The yeah. forward line that Levy uh, has uh, put in place is his way of telling us. And I generally believe that. You know why? Because no. look, there's certain players that he's brought in, yeah, that have been decent. But there's also certain players that he's brought in that have been questionable. The judge, the, I'm not going to lie to you. You already know my stance on Levy. I'm not going to go back over it. But this summer is where we will see what he really is smoking. Because <laughs> As, as Ange has said, he wants to go for a title. And if we see players that are not at that quality, look, you know what, even, you know, you know what it is, isn't it? it I want to see some serious players come to our squad, didn't it? Because we need serious players to, to win titles. That's what Ange has said. I, I, that's how I take it. Correct me if I'm wrong. You put yourself on the spotlight to say, yo, we're challenging next year. Mm -hmm. And if he doesn't challenge, I can either blame two people. I can blame the owner that hasn't backed him, or I can blame Ange for his his <laughs> deluded ways of playing football. Tactics. You get where I'm coming from. Tactics. Yeah. 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 I, but I'm, I'm not saying... saying I, <laughs> I got, got well, in my song case, well, I'm not saying to sell Son, right? I'm saying we need to... Get someone in now because in two years there might not be Ooh. no. You we know, need a long term replacement. I'm no, you're better off getting them now, so we're not in the same Harry Kane situation <laughs> in two years like we were. No, but let, then, let's all seriousness. If Saudi come in for an offer for Son, what what price are we talking? Where you you would listen? They won't. He won't go to Saudi. It's Richardson they want. Yeah, I, I know, but let, let's just say yeah. hypothetically, because I think they come back in with anyway. Salah. If they can't get Salah, they'd look for someone like Son instead as someone who could really represent the, the Hypothetically, game well. yeah, 20 million. Sorry. I'm not even going to lie to you. It might sound low in it that I'm saying 20 million in it. 20? Yeah? But no, no, no. The, the reason being, the reason being, you have to put into factor, and this is not, I don't have hate for Son in it, but I don't think wow. you're going to get any better offers than 20 million. Really? For his age. You think about I was thinking 120 age, yeah, look at his age. I, I was thinking over 100, impossible. to be honest with you. Over 100? In, impossible. What? Minimum. It, it, look at his age, no, though. No, no. Look at his age. It's impossible. I, I, don't look at the, in right I don't look at any player's age. I just look at what they're producing on the pitch and Son is producing. But you need, it comes to high price tag. You need to look the reason at... What's, no, no, no but Harry, you, I think you're getting it wrong with, with Salah and Son because Salah has a bigger reach in that area of the world. With Son, yeah, no, I, yeah, well, no, I totally get that. But the Saudi Arabia, they want players that can represent that. Their, their game well, and and Son for me, yeah, does but, that and brings a totally new audience to Saudi Arabia. No, I think I'm, not, I'm not going to dis. But for, for that oh, area no, of the world, Harry, Son has less of a reach. I know I'm, they will, I'm not saying they won't have any Korean fans at all. Yeah, Salah will be their ideal. Absolutely, that's why they want Salah, and that's why Salah is costing 100 million because despite his age against him. I mean, I think Sal's still better playing than Son, and it's been proven this year. Um, I don't and, agree. And, um, and you've got those few factors. That's what drives his price up. With Son, I think you might get like 40 million, maybe, or 50 million at the push, I think, if I, I'd argue. 40 million, maybe. And this is coming from someone who says we need to build for the future without him. Um, so, like, you won't get those crazy money, I think, for him if you sell him. That's why Richardson will go for more, I think, actually, because uh, that's what I've been hearing, like, 40, 50 million for Richardson, maybe, to Saudi. Which is why they want to sell him, because, obviously, you know, it's good money. For, for me, for me, I don't yeah. think Son, um, look, Son's quality, he's got quality, right? But yeah. Son's age, is he's on a decline. You have to understand decline in age. This is why you see players like, 
Ronaldo. I don't think he's on a decline as a player though. I think he's gone up. If anything, no, no, no. Harry hasn't. Harry hasn't. Son peaked two, three years ago. Though I think, in my opinion. Okay, wait, Harry. Are you saying right now this is the best you've seen Son? Because then I will call you a liar. No, but it's a lot better than last season uh, that we we've seen Son. And I, yeah, and but that's, num- but the, why why is your template? Why is your template? This is what I'm trying to say. Your template is Son's bad season because last season was his worst season, and you're saying the template of him being good is. Better, better than his last season. We are saying, me and no, I are I, saying. If, if I'm being totally honest, I don't think either of you are respecting Son with your 20 million price tags oh, no, no, your, I, I, your de- I, on, I on decline. I, I think he's very valuable to Tottenham, and I think we'd find ourselves okay. very far down the table without him. Me, okay, let me make something clear in it. I, I'm i not disrespecting his quality. I think Son's a, a world class player. In fact, I think one of the he's best one players of the, the team best still. Wing one of the best players yeah right i agree i agree with you i'm not disrespecting that however i'm judging it from a longevity which means in the next two not even yet two years in the next year his stocks are going to go lower hence why when harry kane was looking to go out and ox has what i said I was saying sell Harry Kane you were like, even you were. way yeah. before, yeah. even yeah, way yeah, before, and yeah, I, yeah listen, no, even yeah, way receipt. before, I've got yeah, yeah, hundred and ten percent, man. Because when you hold on up to a player, their stocks decline. Now, for me, right now, he's performing to a certain standard. I would say. Analyzing his whole career, he's still a bit. Look, his level is there, but we we do look like we've lost a bit of Son. You know what I'm trying to say? That happy feet. I remember Son on the win, man. I was like, damn, what a play! Yeah, back in the day, man. Remember on the uh, pot on the pot, she was sick. Yeah. Bro, listen, I was like, damn, what a player. Now we've kind of lost the the Son. Man, um, yeah. Son, I'm, and that's not me being harsh. I'm, 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 I'm mm-hmm. basing it off of what I'm seeing on a day to day, not even day to day, week to week on week basis. There's certain performances you don't, put, you don't turn up to. There's certain performances you're like, damn. If Son, if Son can only shoot, what other attributes can he do? Do you get where I'm coming from? Because there's been games where yeah. I've I've looked at Son and he struggled to run. But then Harry, defender. you made the point. You made the point that you don't. You'd rather play with Charles front because of his physical presence, which I agree with completely. Yes. By the way, but then if you're doing that, you're putting Son on the left, and I don't. For me, I don't like Son on the left in the system. But no, I, so Werner, I, won't, I, won't, I won't put it past Son to play on the right. I just, I think uh, Werner is best the best player we have on the left. I know I can't believe I'm saying at, this. Werner's probably the best player we have on the left. To be honest, I think he's been superb. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, mm. uh, but then it's yeah. like, well, so where do you put Son then? This is why I'm saying I would keep him. I'm not saying to sell him. I'm just saying we need to move on from him in a sense. We like, need to, you know, the player, player now that's going to come we into need to the long term. I get that, but I think we we mustn't, you know, kind of forget. I'm going to say this here. Like, I'm going to say this straight. This I'm going to say this straight in it, and I will claim it now, so you can have another receipt of me when I said Kane should go next year. We need to start thinking of replacing Son because we can't 100%. rely on one individual to outperform. And you know, listen, you're talking about a guy that age does af- affect how people play. Uh, Happy Feet Harry, I, I'm going to use a good example in it. You're young, you're pretty young in it. Right now, you're doing your GCSEs, isn't it? But when I was doing my GCSEs, bro, look, I might be big in it, but I, f- I could do backflips. Now I'm at a certain age, bro. Let me try do a backflip, bro. My back will hurt. I don't know about you, has bro. Age, you get cr- cr- like my back can crack. You know what I'm trying to say? I, like, I, I, I know I'm, what you mean, Harry. I'm 32. Uh, maybe I'm a good example of this. I'm not pro yet, but I'm just I'll relate this to myself. Right? <laughs> I used to be that. Fast player right on the wing. I'm not joking, by the way. This is not me just making stuff up. I used to play on the left wing, actually. And now I play 
like more in the middle because the thing is when you or i play if it's eight aside i play left back because i don't have the same pace i used to have mm. before so i'm having to adapt because i know i've lost like pace if you speak to older you've people lost, they'll tell you i've lost my biggest attribute was my you've pace lost the engine the engine you've I lost used to the have, engine yeah. because uh, you, yeah. the problem is your body this is what i'm trying to say in football this is why footballers last they say um 29 years that's the um average of football a good footballer would last yeah and um you got the but exceptional this, players that go anyway. on but 29 from uh from i think 17 to 29 they say you're at your peak form you're right 100 yeah you're at your peak form that's what they say listen this is not me ch chatting bullshit. go look it up Go look it up, and if you know, if you know ball, you understand what I'm talking about. Even give a give example. Ask Stel. He's a coach, isn't it? He he has his coaching badges. He's gonna probably say the same thing, and probably I've got the ages wrong. Maybe it's 18 or something. But they say that section is when you're on your peak form. Now, in terms of your peak form, you can do the running, you can do the 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 tracking back, you can do everything at a high level. Once you go through that threshold of 30, I'm 31, 32, 34. I'm 32 yeah, now. Yeah. You, you, you're literally, you're literally, look, my, my back is hurting and I'm only 24 in it. That shows I'm fat. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to say in it, like, what I'm trying to say, you can't do what you were doing when you were 18. I you know where I'm saying. coming from. Harry, what I'm trying to say to you is that if you speak to people, people play five aside, but even just five aside, we're talking 2019 when I was 30, 27, right? Some guy I used to play with, he's there's one guy I played, I remember, and he goes to me, I don't know how you get back this, this fast. Like, I used to come back and just, you know, get the ball back. And I was literally, like, running as, like, a box-to-box -box player almost, like, everywhere. And if you look at me now compared to then, like, honestly, I have to, like, time when I do my runs, I have to save energy throughout the game because I can't do the same amount of running as before or just not in terms of like just the up and down no, but is that is that a fitness of decline or is it age i honestly man it's to do with age I'm, man i got an injury the age. other week harry i was out for like a month because i got smacked it, in the back it's a back injury it's 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 age do you know why it's age but we're I'll also an experience though with age i will say yeah there's a lot of players that i know that i think were a lot better as they got older like they are i'm not i'm not saying that can't happen harry that there's a very rare amount of people that get better when they're older than you know why just... i'm saying age why i'm saying age um look players can get better what you're saying they can adapt to different style like example use kane for example because you watch kane on a day-to-day -day basis yeah kane is not blessed with yeah. kane is not blessed with pace no right absolutely not. No. what is his best attribute attribute let me tell let's see if you know know what Kane's best attribute is. Nothing, yeah. It could be anything. You know what, yeah? Hold up play. You're gonna be surprised what his best attribute is. Position. Oh. The way he positions yeah, yeah. himself position. in certain situations. Yes, his finishing is good, like amazing. His passing's amazing, but his best attribute is positioning. Why? Because Kane is not blessed with pace, so he can't do the running and he can't do you can't do all of these type of things. Now you're coming to age now. Do you think an a, a 18-year-old Kane would understand the positioning of... No, uh, absolutely not. No. Right? That comes with experiencing. So now I'm going to link it back to Son. We're not saying Son's bad. I'm not saying that. Yeah, didn't I'm not say saying that. Uh, didn't uh, have that conversation. Think... You might think it's overboard what I say. This is where I agree with... Agree with oh, Paz, what I will say it? Spurs fans in general... I haven't seen many people say Son's had a good season. Yet last season when he was bad, it was all I heard was Son's bad, he's bad, get rid of him, get rid of him, non-stop. But this year when he's producing the numbers... So maybe they, people are saying, saying what I'm saying then, Harry. Because I'm not well, saying... I'll be very worried bad. if they are, Has. No, Mark, <laughs> uh, Mark, Mark, um, his best is... Uh, Kate, you're talking about Kane. His best yeah. attribute is positioning. The reason why I know this, is it? Positioning and, and thinking ahead of the game. I, that's I think what I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, yeah. But why I yeah. say positioning is his, his best attribute right now because um, I watched. Um, he knows where to be. About a year ago or two years ago, they were analysing Kane's how Kane has um, adapted over the last five years in it. Mm -hmm. And look, this is nothing I'm making up in it. I promise you, I'll get the video. In fact, you know what? 
I'll even post it in the comments so you guys mark if you want to watch it you can watch it I nothing I'm not lying in it I have actually receipts in it I'll have to find it in it they were analyzing how Kane um, moves in certain positions to allow space to open up for other players hence why when he was at Tottenham he used to come so close uh, so come so far back to get the ball because now he's he he was changed from a all-out striker to become a creator right and the reason why um he changed the role he doesn't have the physical um pace in today's game to do it hence why look at how Bayern, uh, a good example is still playing the same way as he was playing at Tottenham. you are utilizing one of your best players in a certain way and now maybe it takes him out of um scoring opportunities right but you're bringing your best players in um i lost what i was saying sorry you're bringing your best player on the ball and knowing that he has the ability to find a man uh kane's first word as a child <laughs> to his parents was yeah obviously, <laughs> obviously also obviously. i think kane will probably adapt to players like deeper in midfield i think that's what i think he'll do eventually yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. he's passing range and he's he can just like, sit and be a playmaker basically. you know midfielders yeah. like they, yeah. they always like look over their shoulder Kane has that naturally so that as a number eight he'd be absolutely perfect I think, I think another be, thing right with that yeah. even, even another now. thing why he is very smart and I don't know if you 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 guys realize this whenever he gets the ball overhead what does he do he bends his body and he like lies flat to claim a foul yeah, yeah. he started doing that about two three years ago yeah i know realizing that realizing this is this is all facts i'm a bit generally speaking yeah, i'm not no, a coach right. i don't have coaching badge i don't have coaching badge but you know what go to the coaches they'll probably say a more uh more uh, more yeah, yeah, yeah. more professional way of but i'm saying it in my way in it you know i'm trying yeah. to say it this is my <laughs> way this is the best way i can explain it but they saying the reason why he does it is not just to draw the foul but generally speaking, when you are against the player and let's just say you're challenging for a ball, the best way to keep the player off, off that space is to bend over. Because uh, now your back is at the player. And what and happens you when you bend it. over? Yeah, you have to push it. You, yeah, you create space. Yeah. You create space from the player and came. And then now, now football's gotten soft now. Let's be honest with you, innit? Yeah, Every yeah. little thing is a foul. Kane is utilizing every little thing as a foul. Because we get so many fouls, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what you call a smart, intelligent player. Hence why I say, and I say this with my chest, Kane is one of the one of the best strikers to walk this earth. I'm so so gutted that he played in a Tottenham team that didn't win him no trophies because no. I definitely oh, guarantee you if I'm Kane agree. was at West Ham, Kane was at Liverpool, Kane was at Man City, Kane was at any other team. Look, Bright, uh, he's that he's now gone to uh, Bayern and they're having a difficult season. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say, I'm trying yeah. to just make this point across. That's what you call one of the best strikers to walk this planet. I'm generally, I'm generally hot. Listen, bro, I've had no, no, conversations no, no. about this type of thing. 100, man, 100. Yeah. Because yeah. you have to be on different levels. Do you know the reason why they say Ronaldo's, the Messi's, are on different levels? Because they find the reason why they say Ronaldo's on a different level. They find execution. They do these type of things to create space. Man, this different gravy, man. Different gravy of of a player, man. I'm, I'm, I'm anybody that thinks different. But let's go into the next game because I kind of like rattled yeah, can we move on, on to Newcastle? Got yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. I'm really good at that, actually. Uh, so Harry, um, hello. I, I did have a thing before that, but I might just couple it with this. Um, we are do play Newcastle an early kickoff tomorrow. Is do you think that's right. a factor? And I mean, I saw Newcastle the other week as well. Come back against. West Ham, they were three one down. They won four three. Um, are you afraid of tomorrow's game? How are you feeling towards it? I'm gonna say my hands up from now. I don't like this match at all. I hate playing Newcastle away. I think it's awful. But um, yeah, your thoughts on it, Harry? <laughs> yeah, I love that comment by the way. Um, yeah, I, I think that obviously going to James's part, Newcastle is tough. We all know what happened last season. It hurt the fans. It hurt the players. It hurt everyone associated. 
uh, with Tottenham. So obviously it will hurt. The early kickoff thing, yeah, the early kickoff thing is is not a factor at all. If anything, it maybe affects Newcastle even more in terms of they have an awful record bar West Ham uh, to, to the early kickoffs. Uh, the only people who does affect is the way fans. Obviously, a lot of them were going today because it was a huge uh, journey up to Newcastle. But no, I, I'm worried about the game, of course. But we're talking about a depleted Newcastle team. So I don't really want to be hearing too many excuses. We're talking you know, back five, including the goalkeeper. We're talking Livermento out, Trippier, Botman, Lascelles, Pope, you know, Jolinton in that midfield, Callum Wilson. We've got several first team players out. Um, so in terms of going there and winning, for me, we, we're going to have no better opportunity. Um, so it's so we, well within our rights to be able to do so. But having said that, I don't think a point will be the end of the world for, for either side. Um, so we have to see how it goes. But yeah, I'm worried. I think there's goals in it either way. But don't don't you think, though, that... I don't know, have you been to St. James's Park? Sorry, or not? I can't remember. Yeah, did you go on? Sorry? Have you been to St. James's Park before? Uh, no, not for a game, no. no I know um, my brother went a few years ago. And he told me, I mean, bear in mind, we all had, we all had different experiences at different stadiums. But he said it was the most, like, hostile. He was saying the Newcastle. Oh, they're team. fantastic, the fans. No, absolutely. Not absolutely. Yeah. Like, honestly, they're, they're new, I'm going to say it's, you know, Newcastle fans are watching this. You guys are, like, the loudest fans I've ever seen. As I say this, you're the best win, fans. Win, lose, or draw as well. Best fans in the country. Honestly, they don't yeah. stop singing. Um, so, for me, always this game scares me because you might think on paper, well, they've got all these players out. They've got... Eddie Howe's basically fighting for his job as well, um, I, I'd argue. Um, yeah, I, you'd be surprised because um, football's a very really, you know, brutal game. Yeah, I, I get yeah. that. I don't think you'd be um, sad. So there's a lot of factors. I know they're not player factors, but there's a lot of factors going towards Newcastle way in the sense of like they just never give up. They're, you know, It's going to be a tough game. Yeah, I course. think it's a really tough game. Um, Every game's tough. Yeah, TJ? Um... Look, let's be honest here, innit, yeah? And I'm coming from not a point of view that I'm going to think. If, if our goal is to be top four, we have to win this, innit? It's definitely going to be a tough game, and I believe we're going to lose. Let me be honest with you, innit? I just feel like um, we're going to crumble when it, when it most matters. But in terms of, like, playing against Newcastle... We have to be very careful of how we um, push up because they're a really good counter-attacking team. You know, um, I know they've they got Anthony Gordon who's on form. Yeah, yeah. Harvey and, Barnes I know, come and, off the bench. Isaac, I know, yeah. Harvey Barnes is, yeah, I like Harvey Barnes. I know well. they're like um, deflated, and that's not me. Um, that's not me. Kind of like sugarcoating how Tottenham has to play. But we definitely need a result, and we need a result badly because, for me, our next games after that game, that's going to be difficult games because they're all going for the title. Do you get where I'm coming from? Like, so we need at least to win. We we need a, ideally a point or anything but a loss. But for me, it's the case of the players have to perform, and Ange has to get get on to certain players that have had like up and down performances you know our midfield is going to be questionable you know um i'm going to say something in it when it comes down to the lineup but i just want to yeah. ask you guys a question in it and please don't think i'm um jumping the gun here do you think we should do you think we should um kind of like start with madison because Madison has been a bit off as well. Don't get me wrong, he's performed well, but he's been nullified. Is a case for himself, though? Yeah, he's been very nullified. And that's not me punishing him for no reason, but he's been, he's you know been very, you know what he's very, about very poor since I feel his injury. Like this is the game for Hoibo to play. Like he has to start Hoibo. Yeah, play. he has to start. I think Hoiberg has to start because we need someone defensive that can actually. I'd even be defend. tempted to play. Are you going to think it's mad? I'd even be tempted to play Hoiberg, Benzko, and Saar. That's too defensive, though. No, I know you say that, but they're going to come at us, man. Like it's going to be a really. Honestly, Matt, I'd agree with you. Really the reason in the midfield. Because yeah. I'd be a bit worried about them winning the midfield battle. My only worry with Madison off, is, off form is that they're gonna, you know, they're gonna clatter into them in like the first. Yeah, Madison no, for true. me, yeah. I think he, I think he needs time off the pitch, not because I'm punishing him, but 
for me, sometimes you need, you know, when you're not, you know, nothing's going for you in it. Sometimes you just need to relax and watch and understand why, <laughs> like what's what's going on in it. And Madison has hasn't really. Look again. It may, maybe I'm just overreacting. L let me know. Maybe maybe the comments think I'm overreacting, but no. I definitely want to see a change of midfield. I want I want to see like some sort of defensive structure. In that's the thing. Hoiberg, you know? Benzema, and maybe Saar. That's what I would do. But I know you guys think that's too defensive. <laughs> well, maybe for, Hoiberg, for, Benzema, Lo Celso. But for, then you lose, me, lose Saar's you know... running. You lose stars running. So. Yeah. You know what the back five looks like, including Vicario. Uh, for me, midfield, I completely agree with, with both of you, but in particular, TJ, what he says around James Madison. He's not performing. We know that. But if I'm basing it on in terms of quality and at their best who can produce, I would have James Madison on the pitch for that reason. So for me, it'd be Madison. It'd be, it'd be Benton Core uh, for that bit of stability, a bit of control, a uh, bit of experience, if you like, uh, almost. And Hoiberg for me would be would be the six. I, I, we can't have Basuma losing the ball to James's Park in the positions he, he loses the ball because that will rally the the St James's Park crowd and will really work against us. Hoiberg for me is whether people like it or not. I think he's one step ahead. Of course, he makes mistakes and he has what I call the brain farts every now and then. We we know that with Hoiberg, but generally he's very he's plays very neat. Uh, protects the defence, which we'll need. So he comes in for me, and you keep the front three the same. I think we can. Johnson and Werner, whether people think of them, I think they can cause Newcastle be, problems in terms of if Dan Burn plays left back. But I'd be tempted to play Kulisevsky tomorrow because of his hold up play. No. Nah. We need pace. I'm, I'm, listen, Newcastle. bro, I agree totally with what has uh, Harry says, and I don't really agree with him that often. And he's wow. spot on. Listen, <laughs> we definitely need Johnson and we definitely need Werner. And in fact, you know what? It's sad that I'm saying this, isn't it? But we definitely need um, need Son in the in the middle because we need them to Thanks. cut open. That's I like, like this, a DJ. FIFA lineup. I, I like this. Yeah, DJ. that's like a FIFA lineup. For me, <laughs> this game is gonna cut. <laughs> Listen, Just so you guys know, Richard is injured anyway, so it's not like yeah. Oh, is he? Is. Okay, cool. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. But for me. We definitely need to play um, Johnson and Werner. Um, if they don't perform, then you have op obviously options on the bench in it, right? But from the get go, we need the pace. I, I believe we pace is what is going to matter in this game. Yeah. You know, it's not going to be no easy. Oh, See, we're going to have disagree. all that possession. I think in game, you need more like bat battling players. I've always when we're playing Newcastle, as in like. This is what I'm saying to places like Hoiberg. This is going to get eaten alive. You get pushed off the ball. It'd be in the stands. <laughs> yeah, chance to even think. Not, like I said, normally I'd say forget Kulisesko on the right wing. But in this game, we might need someone to hold it up for a bit because they're going to come at us like constantly. You know that. I don't know if you've ever watched this. I get, I, I, do you know what? I get where you're coming from. Kulisevsky, if anyone does hold the ball up, I just think I think, I think Dan Burn will wing. come in right. and go, take that. It, yeah. it, it, it literally. He might just hold it and then they can bring the play. Kulisevsky wants 75 years to, to look up and, and pick a pass. And it's a James's Park, you don't get that time. But I've got to jump. So do you want me to give my score prediction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We look what we do. We'll end. We'll end the show we'll it, after um, this anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, perfect. Cool. Five minutes. Just five minutes. We'll just end it anyway. Five minutes. So, yeah, yeah. I'll put my lineup quickly and my score, and then TJ can do his. So I'm going. Obviously, there's a normal back five because there's no one else. Um, mm. And then, see, I'm going to stick with my midfield. I'm going Benzema, Star, and Hoiberg because I think we need Star's legs, and when, I would play Benzema further forward, and it give us. And I and I would be. I think playing ourselves a bit of a risk. Um, I think Madison, like you said, needs to find out. But my front three, I'm still sticking with what I said. I'm going Kuzeski on the right, um, Vern on the left, and so on up front because I just think we might need that extra hold up. And unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play this team, so I think we're going to lose three one. Cool. My my lineup is basically the same back line, same goalkeeper, obviously. Yeah. Midfield, um, look, whoever we play, Hoiberg. <laughs> I, I speak about Madison going on the bench. I think. I think I'm going to play Benton Core and Saw. You know, I think right now. Yeah, my free as well. My free. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, basically. I feel like that's. I feel Madison is done well. Listen, I'm, it's not a hate crime against Madison. Please don't think it. I just feel like he just needs to relax and just get back to his form. 
um, front three is how I said before in it. Same um, as um, look, I do. Same as Harry's so, in it. Yeah, yeah. Same as Harry's Werner, Son, and Johnson. Right. Cool. I'm hoping we get a one nil, two nil win, but my predictions right now is going to be a one nil loss. Oof. I'm not confident. Wow. To be fair, TJ's normally right. I'm going to go with 3-2 Newcastle. I think there's a lot of goals in there. I think that we go 2-0 up and Newcastle will claw back. they bring on Harvey Barnes. I think that we get to half-time and you won't need to give his inspiring kind of team talk, if you like, to, to what I call give the players a kick up the backside. And we'll just deplete in that second half and fall apart and, and be like West Ham and, and completely throw away 2-0 two, two or, or leading by two, if you like, advantage. Mm. Okay, so uh, before we finish up, um, TJ, where can we find you? You can find me on Fridays at Spurskins TV and Spursy Talks. Again, you will see my channel soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can find me at Hasper TV. Um, please like, like and subscribe. I do match reaction videos. And I keep saying I'm going to start streaming again, but I haven't done that for like three weeks. Um, <laughs> so hopefully when yeah. the Arsenal kind of came, comes back around, because I've got like two weeks to repair, I'll start streaming again. Um, and Harry Scarf, where can we find you? Going to another show. Yeah. What show is it, by the way? Yeah, it's a Newcastle fan show. Baz is, I can't remember the name of it, so I do apologise. I was going to say, I've directed them to there, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. sorry, it's just started. But you can go check out my profile. I've, I've, I've shared the, the tweet when the show goes live, etc. But you can find me here every Friday, 7, yeah, 7 p.m. Every Sunday, 7 p.m. on Partland Podcasts. Uh, I've got my own channel, Scarfy Spurs, the weekly podcast every Monday, 7.45 p.m. Premier League show every Wednesday night. You've got England content, Daily Spurs content. Jesus You've got my Christ. Twitter handle there, Harry Scarf 22. <laughs> That's like, quite like, a bit. <laughs> He's like, I'm at work. He's like... He's, he... Yeah, listen, this guy, he juggles school work with work life. This is his work. I'm <laughs> saying double life. That YouTube double man. life. Good job. Good job. I love what I do. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, just before we finish here, yeah, I just want to say something. It's an achievement. We finished the stream in an hour and 10 minutes. So yeah. anyone watching this, the first stream, it's just over an hour. So Marlon should be happy. Yeah, 100%, man. 100%. All right, cool. Thank right, you guys care. for all joining in. Yeah. Um, Big, big, up, big up all the comments in it, yeah. and we'll see you um, in a few weeks. Because yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll see you soon. I think it's not yeah in a few weeks. In fact, yeah, we don't play next weekend. Two weeks, uh, two weeks. Yeah. I think it's two weeks, right? We've got off. Yeah, 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 yeah nice one. So the Arsenal game, yeah. it depends on the buying. It might fall on a Saturday or on the Sunday. It depends on the buying result now. So should yeah. be Sunday. If Bayern not come out, then it's Sunday. But if they win, it I'm will so get moved because they go through. I hope it's not a Saturday. I can't do the Saturday. I really want to go day. to it. Yeah, I know. I, pref I mean, they're I'm both working on Saturday. Anyway. Both yeah. All right, cool. Sunday. Yo, let, let, uh, let Harry go in it because... Yeah, I'm going yeah, right. to Cheers, guys. Spurs. I'm going to end the stream now. New Spurs. <laughs> yeah, man. Come on, you Spurs. Damn, that was quick.